Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Fallout. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, my name is Angela and today I am starting my journey with Fallout. Something I only know two things about. Walton Goggins is in this because <laughs> I love him. He doesn't have a nose. I don't know what that's about. And uh, it's based off of a video game. And I don't necessarily play video games like this. And I watched The Last of Us, not really knowing anything about the game. And I'm kind of excited to watch this one because I think not knowing about it, but knowing that it's based off of something that's very beloved and a lot of subscribers have been telling me like, you have to watch Fallout. Um, that makes me excited. That makes me excited because it opens up my world to something else that I might not have ever dabbled in. I might not have ever opened up the game Fallout. I might not have ever wanted the desire to play it because mostly I don't even know what it's about. But if I'm taking that word, if I'm taking the word Fallout, it is, you know, uh, a, a, a fall from grace or it's post-apocalyptic. And I'm thinking because it's a video game, it's probably post-apocalyptic. Fine by me. Uh, that seems to be the bread and butter, I think, of a lot of shows now is like humans at either their best or their worst and displaying that. And I get really excited at those moments because it shows the best of us and it shows the worst of us. And I'm, I'm, I'm eager to find out what exactly it is I'm going to see. So guys, uh, this will probably be the shortest opening that you see of mine. Just so you know, I love to talk about stuff before and after. So the longer the show goes on, the longer those commentaries will be. <laughs> if you don't want to watch it, skip to the next chapter. Uh, the full length reaction will be available on my Patreon. So you can head over there. Uh, but guys, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get into it. The end of <laughs> Is that Walton? Sure is. Oh my god, I could watch him read the phone book, blow balloon animals, just anything. I love Walton. Oh my god. The White House had no comment about the president's whereabouts. I don't know what that was about. Ready to be of service, madam. Oh, a robot! They have a robot. I want a. I want a robot. Specter of nuclear war facing. Nuclear war. Oh, yeah. Let's <sighs> just focus on the party, okay? Yeah, we're going post-apocalyptic, aren't we? Wow! Look at how green that is. What city is that? Why the hell is Cooper Howard working kids' birthday parties? What else? Alimony. Oh. What'd they say, Dad? And I'm lucky to have such a good helper like you. Aww. Here we go, bud. Uh, Is he like a famous actor or something? Give me Cooper. Let's get a picture. Oh, 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 Coop, Coop, Coop. Do your thumbs up. Gross. Is that Los Angeles sunshine coming through? Uh, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't do this. I can't do the weather if I don't even know if there's going to be a next week. Happy thoughts I'm not oh. Well, yeah, the weather guy saying that is quite disturbing. <laughs> Why wouldn't you do it? The thumbs up. Yeah, what's up with the thumbs up? Well, back when I was in the Marines, they taught us that if they ever drop a really big bomb, they told us to hold up your thumb just like this. And if the cloud is smaller than your thumb, now you run for the hills. And if it's bigger than your thumb? Toast. They told us not to bother on it. Oh, yeah. Oh no, it's gonna be bigger than our thumb. Is it your thumb yeah. or mine? Oh. Oh no. Can you jump on the horse? That's smoke, Jenny. It's just a fire. Uh, nope. Oh, shockwave. Cover her. Oh. 
I, I mean, what do you do? You just kind of have to accept your fate, right? Oh, they have fallout shelters. Okay, not friends anymore, huh? Oh my gosh, this slow motion is so, like, I have so much stress. But I can't tell when this takes place because, like, those cars are wild. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. 219 years later. I also participate in gymnastics club. She's busy. Team C. Wait, are they underground in a fallout shelter? And I dabble in riflery. I'm not very good. Uh, I think you are. My reproductive organs are intact, my hygiene well maintained, and yet I have been unable to find a suitable marriage partner. Hey. At least one I'm not related to. <laughs> we have rules about that for a reason. Good rule. Good rule. I hereby submit my application to the council to participate in the triennial trade with Vault 32. What is a triennial trade? By the way, it's a Dylan from Severance. I love that. What are these little wrist things? Is it like an Apple Watch? But a pineapple watch? Because it's bigger? <laughs> I got jokes. Lucy. Alright, Lucy. Is this actually outside? Or is this... It looks like they're living in a bunker. It was a little tight. On my wedding night, that dress got off almost as fast as Bert did. Oh, well. Alright. She's getting married? <laughs> After 10 years of cousin stuff, I'm definitely excited for the real thing. <laughs> what? I am just excited for us to raise our kids together. I'm still stuck on cousin stuff. What? Oh. I was like, wow, they're outside? That's wild. Interesting. Were you scared? When you married mom? Me? <laughs> Terrified. <laughs> well, I'd never step foot outside Vault 31. So she doesn't even know who she's marrying, huh? It's time. So do they get to go from vault to vault, like, ever? Or are they just stuck in their vault? Must be nerve-wracking. The husband can be in. I'm aware. It's big butt, no butt. But of course, it's just superficial concerns that what's on the inside that counts. That's yeah. right. You know, it's now. true. He needs to have all of his teeth. Like Norman. Sorry, Dad. <sighs> I'm nervous for her. I just met her and I'm so nervous. Textbook tumbler jam. It's gonna take some time to fix. Oh, here she comes. With the 32s until maintenance and I can. Jet, what's going on? He loves her. I love you. <laughs> we all know that, Jet. Messing around with your cousin, it's all well and good for kids, but it's not a sustainable long-term sexual practice, you know? No. Not even a little. <laughs> what a world. What a world. Okay, girl. Moment of truth. Here we go. Please be cool. Please be cool. Please be cool. Please be cool. Suspense is killing me. Please be cool. Please be cool. Please be cool. Please be cool. I'm Lucy. Do you have a name? Oh, he seems sweet. Lucky. <laughs> I don't know. I'd be brushing that hair out of his eyes all the time. Hopefully we like Monty and he is actually cool. You could have a cute face, but you could be a complete idiot. So what's your sperm count? Oh, well, everyone wants to know. If our measurements are correct, 
Radiation levels on the surface are dropping fast enough that the next generation will be able to recolonize. Ooh. I mean, I hope they could be down in these vaults and not know anything that's going on out there. We don't know much about what's up there. These survivors will need to be shown a better way. I'll admit I'm sometimes afraid that mean old world will change us instead. But then I look at my daughter. To Lucy McLean, and to this marriage, and to hope. It's really interesting that he thinks he can change the outside world that he knows nothing about. I mean, to be fair, I also think they're probably lawless and <laughs> there's violence and run amok happening. When you find your like they have like this whole cutesy thing going on down here and it's kind of like a great life that's happening, but... <laughs> Let's dance. Oh. Sorry, cuz. <laughs> But, like, all that could be happening down here where it's all, like, really sweet and happy. And then, like, up there, they're just, like, ready to pounce. They want what they have down there. Show me to my new home. Let's get this dress off. This is us. Yeah, the leader of 32 seems a little off. Every big moment of our lives is going to happen right here. I bet it wasn't the wheat that killed the last guy. They even gave us naked. Let's get it on. Okie dokie. <laughs> A little different than cousin, eh? I love your coffee. Where are those scars from on his back? Okay. There's a bed right there. Girl, your knees are gonna get scuffed. I don't think he's supposed to be doing that. He is also suspicious of 32. Oh, yeah, that looks bad. Why does it look like nobody's lived there in a while? Are those people not from 32? Are they from somewhere else? Uh, uh, oh, and they're missing a leg. Uh huh. Yep. You're from the surface. They're radioactive. Raiders. Uh. Okay, Lucy. Okay, girl. Oh! Oh, God! Jesus! Yeah, he felt off. This was the best day of my life. I bet. Good for you, girl. Another scar to add to the collection. Oh my god, quit body slamming her! <gasps> oh my god! Oh! Oh! There's lots of knives right there, girl. Just shove one. Don't take it out, don't take it out. You're gonna bleed out, you're gonna bleed out! <sighs> It's a stab wound to your abdomen. Like, how do you close that? <sighs> you know what? Lucy's a badass. Highly skilled. Oh, look at her. Wedding dress, bleeding, carrying a knife. Do you have a gun somewhere, girl? Okay. Okay. Bleeding from her abdomen. Huge peacemaker gun. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. Okay, I didn't expect darts. Where's her dad and her brother? Okay, good. Get that jelly mold out of here! Yeah, the jelly mo- <gasps> This is brutal! Like nothing. Like nothing. You may see Thank you. Looks like the explosions from before. Oh, oh. Oh, she's going to be amazing. Sir, please don't make me use force. Oh, cuz you are in trouble. Oh. I don't think that was for asthma. Well, couldn't happen to a better guy. Yeah, I thought it was weird how they were acting, the tattoos, like everything. Like, they looked dirty. I thought maybe it was because they were out of food. <gasps> oh god, oh god, oh god, Lucy, Lucy, your brother, your brother, your brother, your brother! Oh, good. A fallout shelter and a fallout shelter. Thanks, Dad! I'm glad he's okay. Good. See you later, Monty. I just now realized I missed the opportunity to say the joke about the full Monty. Kind of upset. You want some water? Here's some water! Mmm, tasty. Or is it pickles? Oh! What a waste of pickles! But now he's preserved. I think I know who you are. Everyone knows who I am. Oh. But do they know who they are? They are the product of one of life's tricky little choices. So I'm going to offer you a choice. Mm-hmm. Them or her. Hey, come on, stop. Dad, please. No, stop. You are my world. Ah! Okay, they're just tranquilizers, though. You look like your mother. <gasps> what the fuck? Maybe you should do what you do best. Run and hide. <sighs> go, 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 go! I'm telling you, fork in the eye, chick. She's gonna be fierce. So did that effectively make it to where they can't seal themselves off again? Oh boy, here we go. Real outside, real sun. Oh wait, is this the military? I'll never understand military shit like that. Can you identify this relic? Rotor? Oh, God! Unless you know what to find and preserve, you are more useful as a corpse. Jeez. A little harsh. So they're out searching for relics? Is it a big balloon? What do they call them? Blimps or something? Yeah, are scarier. Post-apocalyptic Zeppelin. Sounds like a band. <laughs> Whoa! Dope! I don't know if they're good or bad, but I like them. Imagine getting to put on one of those every day. Oh, there are people in them? They had a robot at their house at the birthday party, so I wasn't sure if they were just people or. Machine. Yeah, I wonder why they're here too. Oh, it's a drawing of a person and it's a target. 
on, I got something I want to show you. Latrine duty is a two-person job. <sighs> well, shit isn't going anywhere. I don't know. You've already gotten your butt kicked. You've been hit by your instructor, boss. I don't even know. You're you're digging shit holes. I don't know if this is a great idea. Ooh. Pilots and mechanics only. They are neither. Do they get to put... Well, not do they get to, but can they? Like, just put one on, see how it feels? Whoa. Aww. He's rescued by someone in one of them. What's going on? Outfit change. A bunch of us were chosen to get anointed. We're going to the wild. Hell yeah! You are. You're gonna be in one of the robot thingies. You just wait. I hope. Oh. Doesn't take much for me to find sympathy for people. What? <gasps> oh! Oh God! What happened? <gasps> They thought it was him? Seriously? That's fucked up! We're just all over the place, aren't we? Oh, they're rebuilding 33? I was gonna say fertilizer, compost. Yeah. Uh, I guess this is a good amount of people that survived. I have a proposal for the assembly. We send a search party to the surface to find my dad. You're talking about opening the outer vault door? Just for under a minute. We're brainstorming here, and there's no bad ideas in a brainstorm. Maybe but a that's <laughs> not something that we have ever done, never, ever, ever. I, I know. It's an extreme circumstance. Hey, Davey. How's your day going? Bad as everyone else's. <laughs> what a dumb question. <laughs> Okay. Is it just her going? Because they don't look like they're taking anything with them. Take her and Norm to my back. Okay. Hopefully you come back. I'm going with you. Mm. Ted, what you're doing is insane. It isn't like the vault out there. It's big. Oh, he didn't hold the elevator. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, she's smart. Sorry, Chet. I just tracked him. Not all the same to you if you try to follow me. I'm too chicken. Aww. Now, I want to know how that lady knew her mom. Like, maybe this happened before and that's how her mom died? Or I'm, I'm sure there would have been stories about that, right? But she knows who the raiders were. Any sunglasses? Sunscreen? Toothpaste? Young lady, come back here right away! <laughs> sure. That didn't work. <laughs> oh, I hope she's not naive to the people in this world. I mean, I'm, I am i don't trust anybody. Maximus. I trust Maximus. Oh my... Welcome to the outside. Here are some bones. Does she have more than just, like, trank guns? Or, like, tranquilizers? Because she's gonna have to kill in this world. Oh, is it Santa Monica? That Ferris wheel stayed up for a really long time. <laughs> Okie dokie! No, that can't be the end. Don't end. Don't you dare. Oh, I say, we need to know what was up with Maximus. I understand you're a friend of Aspirant Dayton. You're aware of their injury? Yes. Do you know who did it? No. Your fellow Aspirants say it was you. 
everybody would pick on him. I'm not shocked. I, I, I wanted it to happen. Is that wrong? Hmm. Can't control those thoughts. Yes. <laughs> Apparently we differ. Violence against a brother of steel is a sign of weakness. What about the people who were beating him up? Uh, please don't hurt him. You have anything else to say? I, I want to thank you for giving me a home. I had no place in the world. If I can help the Brotherhood make it better, even if it means giving my own life. Oh, wow. I'll do it. And I'd be grateful to the Brotherhood for giving my life meaning. Smart. Good boy. Yep. And you will be Knight Titus, new squire. <gasps> You're gonna be a knight. Oh, it's okay, sweetie. You did good. You did good. Fear isn't a weakness. It's normal response. Aspirant Maximus. Oh, goodness. It is your most sacred duty to protect the Brotherhood. After Look at this ceremony. Do you accept? Is he gonna touch him with the... Oh my god. I hit myself with a curling iron. I am a crying little bitch. No, thank you. Go forth with honor. <sighs> Approximation of the target for your lord. Oh, I'm gonna kill the dog. I know. I'm happy for you too, buddy. So his knight is Titus. He is still Maximus, and he's a squire. This is interesting. So do the people inside come out? Dope. Oh, Maximus, I'm so excited for you. I mean, it's terrifying. Who the hell knows what he's going to see, but it's pretty cool for him. Flip him the bird as you pass by. <laughs> Oh, he's a better person than I am. <laughs> I hit him with a suck it. Give him two of those. Please don't be the end. Good. Good. Oh. 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 Is that a baby arm? <laughs> I have no idea what's happening right now. <laughs> Don Pedro has our friend dug up once a year, cuts some pieces off and puts it right back in the ground. Why? Oh, God. You're telling me this supreme badass we're looking for is a godforsaken mutant? Have some respect. Yeah. That's the prospective co-worker you talking about. How do we know he's not feral? That is why we brought our little friend. For feral goon can't food? abide a chicken. Wait, if he goes for him, we kill him. Oh, if he's feral, he would want to eat the chicken. Okay, gotcha. Is, is this going to be Walton Goggins' character? Because I've seen pictures of him without a nose. That's not normal. Okay, doesn't seem to be feral. <gasps> oh, it is. It's him. He looks amazing. Wow, this is 
Amish production of the Count of Monte Cristo. This is the weirdest circle jerk I've ever been invited to. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, you don't even know us. No, I do not. <laughs> he might just be hungry. Feral means he'd probably eat it raw. We got a proposition for you. Yeah, now somebody made a run from the Enclave. Oh, what makes you think I'd give a good goddamn about that? I don't even know what the Enclave is. Figured you'd be interested in is where they's running to. Dead witch, Molde. Oh, her. Whenever somebody says they're doing one last job, that usually means their heart's not in it. But for me, I do this shit for the love of the game. Oh, okay. <laughs> Knew that was coming. You know what? Walton Goggins is a sincere, like, sweet person. Love it. Weird shit like this? Oh, he has my heart. He has my heart! The ghoul. Those cowpokes. Bye. We take it as it comes. Oh my god, I love Walton so much. I am so excited to watch this show. If it ends, it's okay. There we go. Uh-huh, I'm gonna like this show. Okay, so, uh... I think I'm really gonna like this show. One, because Walton Goggins, I cannot tell you enough how much I love and adore that man. I think I was like really introduced to him with Sons of Anarchy. And then just every time I've seen him ever since, uh, I forget what the show is that he did on HBO. What is it? The He's a televangelist. <laughs> it's absolutely the... Ah! I wanted to say the precious rhinestones. It's something like that. Never quote me on anything. But like, like justified, uh, just anything that he's in. He literally shines vice principles. Just, he's wonderful. I love anytime he's in something. And I do love when we get like great acting moments from him that are like really serious and heartfelt, like when he's with his daughter. And you know, you could feel that love between them. But like when he's the ghoul, <laughs> I think I'm going to have fun. Um, I, I know I'm going to have fun. It It's, I mean, he looks scary-ish. He kind of has like that Skeletor look to him. Like if you remember from the 80s movie, uh, Masters of the Universe, kind of looks like Skeletor, a little bit Voldemorty in some ways. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to enjoy his performances. The fact that he was being kept alive because he's a mutant and that pieces were getting cut off of him, but that is just insane. That's crazy. Um, so like there's probably a lot of vengeance in his heart and I'm, I'm sure his daughter is dead by now. Well, I mean, it was 200 years. Unless she's a mutant and she's out there. I don't know. Now, definitely the vaults. That threw me for a hot second because I was just like, it's like, what is going on here? And for some reason, I think it's because I w watch a lot of space shows. Obviously, I have a lot of ships behind me. I thought they were in space for a second. I was like, oh, they're in fallout shelters. Duh. You know, the fact that they are in there and that Lucy has like all these skills like, she's a pipe fitter. You know, she can farm. Like, she's, like, a gymnast. Like, there was, like, all these things that she can do. And I was just like, geez, this is a lot of skills. Um, but, like, it just, like, shows that, like, she's got a lot of, like, know-how in here. And I'm sure a lot of that will come in handy survival-wise. Um, yeah, that whole thing. Like, I, I could tell that, like, 32, like, I thought they were, or was it 32 or 33? I think it was 32. 32 looked worse for wear. Um, their behavior was odd. They looked dirty. And like when she said something about the wheat, I was just kind of like, oh, okay. Like, like that, that makes sense. That's why they look that way. But then I was like seeing like the tattoos and I was like, something ain't right. Like something ain't right at all. Um, you know, and the brother investigating that and like, oh, man, a lot of people died. I am fairly certain because I don't think we're done with the people in the vault, but the chick that got the fork in her eye and then just went full ham. We better see more of her because that's the spirit I like in this world. On our side. 
not against us. Uh, and then, of course, you know, we got introduced to Maximus and the knights and the squires and, and the suits. And he was literally living a shit life. He was being treated like shit. He had no respect from the people around him, the people instructing him. Uh, and, and at least he had his one friend. Dane seemed great. I don't know who put the razor in their boot, but if, if it, if it, I don't want to be like, oh, even if it was Maximus, but like, I don't know if it was or if it wasn't, but I think in this world, you almost have to live that way and, and behave that way in order to climb the echelons to be somebody important. I'm not saying it's okay. I'm just saying that like, I can see if he did it, why? Um, and you know, like he is, he's a sensitive guy. And I don't think that that's a weakness. I don't think having fear is a weakness. I don't think, um, you know, uh, necessarily fighting people, like, because it seemed like he was getting his butt kicked quite a lot, but like, like, like none of that is a weakness. And, and I love that, like, he thought on his feet about like sacrificing himself and giving his life, like almost saying like, well, if you need to kill me, you need to kill me. And they were just like, oh, respect. I'm excited for Maximus. And, and like, I don't know if he gets to graduate to a knight. I don't know who's in the knight suit. <laughs> I don't know if we ever get to see the people that are in there because I would hope so. I feel like at some point, like, you got to come out and pee or like you got to eat or shower. I don't know. The Mandalorian kind of ruined that for me a little bit because it just seemed like he never took the helmet off. But like, also when he did take the helmet off, he looked very fresh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, this is going to be nuts. Uh, what was the name? Moldora? Mold... I kept thinking Moldavite. <laughs> Definitely not Moldavite. Or maybe. I don't know. Um, she seemed to know Lucy's mother. Lucy's mother may still be alive, and that's probably, you know, why she took Lucy's father. Um, Lucy going out. I, I'm not like, oh, she's fine. I just hope she's not naive to the people in the world and automatically trusts people because that's a mistake. I've seen The Walking Dead. I've seen things that are post-apocalyptic. You trust no one. No one. I don't know if uh, the people on the inside are going to like, that are that are in 33, if they're going to decide to join Lucy and then we're going to see a group of them. I would hope so. Like, I feel like there's like some of them that have that in their heart a little bit. And I don't even know where she starts. I don't know what you do in order to find her father. I, I want to say that the father might have known Moldava? Diva? Moldaver? Moldaver? <laughs> if you're new to my channel, get used to that. Um, <laughs> I will struggle with names for sure. And until they're like an established character, like, like I know Lucy, Maximus, the ghoul, because they gave that to me in big bold letters. <laughs> Everyone else, we're just gonna have to wait and see. But guys, uh, I am looking forward to this season and I know it's all been released. Um, I, I don't know if I'm gonna go full ham, but I, I, I really am excited to dive into more episodes. I think that this is gonna be amazing. If you wanna watch the full-length reaction to this episode, it will be available on my Patreon and uh, all the future episodes uh, will be available as well. But in the meantime, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Um, this is like an introduction, I'm guessing, to the characters that are in the game, not necessarily things that happen in the game, or maybe they did. Did any of this take place in the game? Did you get like a whole like Fallout Shelter vault thing? Are they different characters that you get to play? I don't know. Don't spoil anything for any future episodes, but like, I feel like I want to be a knight, but I also feel like Lucy's awesome, but like the ghoul? I don't know. I always, huh, I, this happens in One Piece. This has happened with various other shows that I have watched where the bad guy typically is my favorite. I don't think that that's unusual by any means, but like, I'm very much just like, can't wait to see more of that. So guys, come back here for all the future episodes. And in the meantime, I'll see ya.